Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Worshipful Wednesday. We're right at the middle of the week. If you have not done it yet, you ought to be at the peak of your praise. You know, Sunday is already gone. Many of us might be having our times of fellowship this evening. I hope you've already had your personal time of giving God glory. You know, I call it the day that you and I should be at the peak of our praise. If you haven't done it yet, you ought to lift your hands up to the air, throw your arms up in the air and say, God, I thank you. I thank you that you've been so good to me because of God's goodness. You and I can't help but respond in the way that we should. And that is by allowing Christ to be the Lord of our lives. Today, I invite you to look with me at Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, verses 10 through 25, a very powerful chapter. This is the passage by which God begins to remind us that the Lord, our God, will bring you into a land a land that he had promised to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob, to Sarah, Rebecca and Rachel. That meant God was about to take them to the land of promise. He knew that they would be prosperous. He knew that they would have more than they've ever had before. They're not quite there yet, but they're on the way. You know, some of us get stuck in the area that we're not quite there yet, but we're on the way. But realize that God never wanted them to stop before they got there. He wanted them to keep moving forward. The same is true for you and for me. You and I must remind ourselves that we're on the way to the promised land. We might not be there yet, but we're on the way. And so since we're on the way, let's make sure that we see the warning that was given to uh, those who were the Israelites, that we, as we're passing through, should never worship any idols. You know, too often times in our world, we find ourselves beginning to worship idols and not realizing that's what we're doing. You know, somebody said an idol or things that we worship are represented by how we spend our money, how we spend our time and what we do with the time that we have. You know, sometimes we make idols the time of year that we're in Sometimes football can be the idol. It's amazing how many hours that you and I can spend watching football, watching high school football, college football, NFL, wondering how well our team will do. If one is not careful, you can find yourself almost spending 20 hours in seven days of just watching football. That meant whatever you spend the most time in, that could really be considered as your God. Ask yourself the question, how many of those hours will you give God the jumping up and down? Will you will God the praise? Will you give God the moments by which you say, God, I thank you for scoring a touchdown in my life. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for giving me sight. You know, the Lord is watching us and the Lord's eyes are always upon us. Let's hope we can. He can find us doing what he's called us to do. We must remind ourselves that the Israelites said that our children are watching us. We must show them how to serve God and how to live in this land and how to wage war against the enemies. You know, the enemies that we face in our lives, the enemies that come against our children are those things who try to distract them and take them off focus. Let's make sure that we keep our focus on God. God has taken us away from Pharaoh. He's taken us away from Egypt. So let's never look back. Let's remind ourselves of the marvelous signs, how God parted the Red Sea for the Israelites and how he'll part the sea for us in our lives. And he'll cause us never to go down, never to drown, never to go under, but to walk on dry land. Today, whatever it is that God has placed deep down within your spirit that will give him glory, honor and praise, you allow that to be your GPS. Let it be your God piloting system that God will pilot you to the place that he would have you to be. The Israelites had Moses. You and I, we must remind ourselves that we have God. We have Jesus to be our voice and to be our guide and God's word and God's spirit to keep us. Today, I hope you will know that this is Worshipful Wednesday. So worship God like never before and give him all the praise that he is due because you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed and God God has a great blessing in store for you in this year of 20 and 23. It would be bigger and better than you ever thought it would be. Remember to take the Lord with you everywhere you go. And I'll talk to you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select sow a seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. 
Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.